Okay, so I don't want to alarm anybody, but complications have indeed happened. Uh, I'm like knee deep in mud over here. This guy's over here like on top of me jackknifing. I hitched myself to that tree with this trailer. So I'm going to see if I can pull sort of progress here. I need to like get this freaking vehicle. Just get out of the mud. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Mud Runner, a spin tires game. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. Um, if you're familiar with the first game, which happens to be Spin Tires, um, this is an amazing all-terrain vehicle driving type of game series. Essentially, you go out into the wilderness, a bunch of mud, a bunch of water, just basically driving this behemoth vehicles, trying to get to some really tough terrain. It's a really fun game, especially in multiplayer. I really enjoyed the first one, and we have early access to the sequel here today. This comes out on October 31st, so I'll have all the information in the description down below. Um, since I do have early access to the game, I can show you more here as well. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, would like to see more of it on the channel. And we can indeed cover a couple more videos until the release date on the 31st. So, I gotta start moving the camera here to begin with. So let's just circle around. What's really cool about the game I really enjoyed is that you could actually have like full control of the camera. Now mind you, if you're a dingus like I am, it can also sometimes confuse you if you're trying to drive and move the camera at the same time because I apparently very, I struggle with basic concepts, you know, I can't rub my head or rub my tummy and pat my head. So, driving and moving the camera at the same time could actually pose a problem for me, but that's okay, that's just my shortcomings. Maybe you are a bit more of a multitasker than I am, can we not spin out of control already? We just started the god freaking tutorial here. You have approached the muddy road. Engage all wheel drive and differential lock. So let's go in Q&E. &E. And here we go. You know what, I gotta get into position for this, so how about we... Yeah, we gotta see this in full action here. Let's zoom out a bit. Oh, all the mud and the water in the world. Now mind you, you can make this a lot easier by going, kind of going around it, but if you're playing spin tires, I like to imagine that the muddier you are and the dirtier you are after a mission, it just means like a better job well done, you know? If you're clean and you're looking like in one single piece, you're not really playing the game correctly. That's just what I'm saying. You're now approaching another truck. In Mud Runner, you can switch between trucks you have unlocked and drive closer to the truck. Where is this truck you speak of? Oh, it's right there. The B-130, huh? All right, let's go for it here. <laughs> Gotta honk at it too. Hey, I'm coming up! Now let's switch to this truck. You can do so by entering advanced mode and use the change truck option. So advanced mode, change truck. I guess I should have probably stopped the engine first, you know? Gotta be courteous a little bit here. Good work. Now that this truck is in rear drive only and does not have differential lock, release the parking brake and keep driving along the road. Oh, so with this guy, we might have... A couple of issues going uphill. Now, more than likely, that means we could probably use a winch on it. If I remember my spin tires history properly. I'm not really good at vehicles whatsoever, but just going by the other game that I've played before. Each truck in Mudrunner is equipped with a winch that you can attach to nearby trees or vehicles. Let's use this to pull ourselves over the hill. And my birds is going crazy outside. Give me one sec. Alrighty, well, I think we should be fine. I went out there and I waved my arms frantically at it, and he just stared at me like very dumbfounded. So I think. I think it probably got the point that I wanted to be quiet. So, select the winch source, and we're going to be attaching ourselves to this tree right over there. Very good. Exit. And let's pull ourselves up. We could also pull with the winch. There you go, there you go. Get all up in there. Detach the winch. Okay, so I'll do that soon. I think we got it now. Yeah, we're fine. Advance mode. And detach. That should be it. Alright, good job. Of course, I'm over here acting like that was a really difficult feat in the tutorial where it's telling me what to do. Very good. Release the winch and proceed along the road. I've already done that game. I beat you to the punch there, didn't I? And I guess we're coming down to that garage. Garage. We've talked about this in the past. I said garage, but I know a lot of people say garage, too. Lock three of four. I'm not sure what that means, but let's see. You've arrived at the garage. Garage where you can install add-ons and trailers. Your truck can also be rescued and brought back to the garage if you're playing in casual mode. All right. To access the garage, you must first unlock access to it by delivering four garage points. Someone has already delivered three points to this garage because your truck has one point. You can unlock it. Hey, how about that? So, unload. Nice. Done. Your truck gets fully repaired when you visit an unlocked garage, but gets refueled for only up to 200 liters. The aim of the game is to deliver logs to lumber mills, so let's install add-ons that carries logs. 
So we have been refueled a bit. Let's go ahead and install the log carriage. And drive over to the log station. Alright, so so far, you know, very basic. Nothing really too difficult just yet. And got to moon over around. That's my logs right there. Log station. Oh, totally is. I'd figure the amount of logs there would kind of give it away too, you know. Just in case you can't tell. Or am I going to log station? Well, I don't know. It's probably the place with the entire set of logs here. Hi, right, buddy. Get through there. So this guy doesn't have the differential lock or the all-wheel drive. So I'm struggling a bit more to get here. But there we go. Here you can unload your truck. Different types of, um, or different log types yield different amount of load points. Our current truck can only be loaded with short logs. So, short, we have medium and we have the long ones as well. But this guy is short related, so... There it is. Now let's proceed to our final destination, the lumber mill. Okay. So let's zoom out here a little bit. Move the camera if we can. Let's go down through this side. Get a really up close and personal look. Oh, you can see the driver too. It's like the first time I've noticed that. Oh, yeah. Get through the water. Come on, buddy. There you go. You got this, man. Now, obviously, it's probably a bit more difficult now since we're carrying a ton of logs back there. <laughs> so we're just being dug right into that watery grave. That's okay. Let's, I guess, zoom back through here. Let me get this camera down through this side. I gotta get really comfortable with this camera. Like, I feel like I'm all over the place on it right now. I'm trying to get, like, a really good over-the-shoulder type of view, but all these logs are kind of in the way, which makes that a lot more difficult for me. Now, I think I can switch camera views by pressing one or two, so I can't... I guess one is kind of like the default camera. And we can zoom out a little bit. That's my lumber mill right there, though, so we're just about there. Come on, buddy, just... Crush on through. Forget about that mud. All right. Now, are we breaking the little, um, oh, we kind of are. We're snapping those twigs as we drive by them. I like that. Perfect. It's now time to unload our truck. But remember, this would only be two out of eight load points total required to fill up the lumber mill in a real game. Ah, so we need eight points in the lumber mill in a real game. So, oh, what did I do? Unload it. Finish the tutorial. This tutorial didn't cover everything in the game, so attend challenges to learn more. Okay. So let's go ahead and try a challenge here. We have the rig. Pick up a trailer, then drive the rig to a small town. Bonus objectives, don't damage your vehicle or other vehicles. Uh, don't drive in the opposite traffic lane. And use the cockpit camera when driving with a trailer. See, I think I could do two of those, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be capable enough to do the opposite traffic lane driving. You know, I'm sorry to say I'm the type of guy who uses every single lane when he's playing video games to drive. I blame GTA for that. Alright, welcome to the challenge. Primary objective, pick up a trailer, then drive the rig to a small town. And those are my bonus objectives. Alright. So the first thing we need to do is pick up the trailer. Activate the navigation map to locate it. So F1. We're over here. Those will be my guide points. So we want to come up to the garage semi-trailer. And I guess we'll be delivering it elsewhere afterwards, right? So, alright. Good enough. Let's resume. That park break out of the way. Start an engine. Oh, baby, you can see the engine there, too. Alright, so let's turn, which I believe should be, though... Is that the... Oh, that's the opposite lane. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's not fail the, the side objective the moment I start the game. How about that, huh? That'd be great. You know, I blame the, I blame the, the marker, though. The marker was leading me to the wrong place. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Uh, there we go. So the other one would be the other incoming lane. So now this is kind of easy to tell. But once we start hitting the small roads, that'll be a lot more difficult to actually complete. And we're coming down through here now. Luckily, we got this dude over here with all these wheels. You should just be able to plow through, right? Yeah, we don't even need differential locks or all-wheel train for this dude. We have watery area and muddy area. Let's go through the muddy area because... You know me, I gotta get filthy with this game. We can zoom on in a bit here, too. And it's my fuel. There's gonna be, like, fueling stations as well when you're playing the single-player campaign, if I'm right. So if you get, like, a really long mission, you kind of have to, like, go and refuel midway. Now, I'm supposed to go into the cockpit trailer once I have the trailer attached to my vehicle. And here we're gonna have to back it up, which is terrible. I am quite possibly the worst reverser of all time. Not only in real life, but in video games, too. It's a really good combination when you think about it. 
It's like real life emulating video games. I can't reverse in real games, I can't do it in real life. Just terrible in general. Is this good? This looks alright, oddly enough. Camera. Help me out here. Okay. Kind of there, kind of there. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> I gotta be picture perfect, don't I? Oh, come on, game. Cut me some slack here. Got it. Okay. Now enter advanced mode. And we gotta connect the trailer. So, you... Oh! There it is. Okay, exit. Great, now using the, the navigational map to locate your next... I'm not even sure what happened to my voice there. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one. So this is where I'm at. We have four garage points and we're going down to... There. So what's the best road for this? That seems to be very terrible terrain, terrible terrain. So I'm thinking we probably go back out, drive through here, take this road. It's like a small little bridge here. There's some nonsense right here. So I think we're probably going to go through here. So we got to mark it if I'm right. So let's go and do straight through here. Then straight through here. Go through here. Here. Don't go into incoming traffic. And then we just come through this side. That side. Uh-huh. You know, preferably not through the road that way. Okay. And that's going to be blocked. That's blocked. So I think we have to go all the way around, don't we? So straight up through here. There. Uh-huh. Get, get out of the way, destination thing. Okay. 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 That, that's, that's good. That seems to be like a really good setup to me. So how do I do the cockpit camera? Alright, so that should be one objective right there, right? I got the cockpit camera as I got the trailer latched onto me. This might be actually easier driving. How about we don't run over that fence, though, huh? <laughs> don't, don't, don't destroy the people's fence, Falcon. Did I destroy it? I think I, I think I really did. I totally did, didn't I? That's fine. Alright, so I'm here. Let's go through the muddy area. How do I get out of here? Because I need to look at my surroundings afterwards. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Move out the way. All right. It's a giant monster right here, too. You expect me to take this in one piece over to that destination. I don't really see that happening. I expect us to crash land, probably even flip knife or jackknife this trailer. So I hope you don't have any flammables in there, because otherwise we're about to get really, really dirty and explode here. Get through the water. Yep. Yeah. All right, I remember. No incoming traffic, so we got to turn right over on this side. Come on, buddy. Come on. And speaking of the gears, I believe we're an automatic, right? I'm not sure if there's like a manual transition or something, but I'm going to assume it's automatic. Yeah, it's going up by itself. Cool. Alrighty. So that went swell. Let's look at you through here. What, number, what does number two do? Two is like really far away, so I prefer number one. Oh, God, even though you're... Oh, and I've all up in the... Oh, God. Clip through. Okay. Relax, relax. We got this. And that's the turn right here coming up, right? All right. Let's see. Um, for this, you know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna. I think we probably should go within. Okay, okay. Just turn it, turn it. Okay, I think we got this. You see, now that's incoming traffic lane right there. So now I gotta stay over on this side with this giant trailer. This is what I told you it was gonna be kind of tricky. It's a lot easier when you got that little weird asphalt highway, but then when you get to the small roads, that is when it's kind of like, okay, well now I have a giant monster of a truck here. Now, do I have to deal with other actual cars though? Because if I see a car, I'm going to feel really compelled to just drive right into it. Which I know will fail the mission. Well, not the objective anyway, but... I mean, how could I not just slam into it? No, no, stay over here. Stay over here. So there is the night... Okay, there's a night and day transition as well. So right now we're in the middle of the day, but there is night and day time. Which... Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, we're fine. Fine, fine. Which actually makes the game a lot more difficult when you're driving at nighttime because, especially if you're doing the off-roading at nighttime, then it's kind of like, oh my god, really difficult to drive then. Now, where, what city is this? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm asking because I see no life. And the buildings kind of remind me of, like, Chernobyl or something. Which seems like a really weird place to have a place of business here, especially a lumber mill. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't hit that. Don't hit that. Just turn it. Okay. Really, you no, no, you're you're fine. Can I honk at something too? Do I have a honk button? 
I hit H, hoping for a honk, but no honk. Alright, it's fine. Let's worry about honking later, Falcon. Let's get this over here in one single piece. Alright, pretty good so far. Um, This could be problematic, especially because I haven't seen what my trailer's looking like back there. I hope it's lined up with me. So don't hit these vehicles. Don't hit the vehicles. Do you guys hear anything? No, I think we're fine. Alright, cool. We should be relatively close to where we're going, I think. Okay, something's happening here. Is this the muddy road, probably? Yeah. This is kind of where I want to get out, like, get out of this cockpit view and see what's happening behind me. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Alright, let's see what's happening back here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Alright. I don't think we've hit anything thus far. I'm actually quite surprised. Don't hit that now. Alrighty. Our destination seems to be down through there. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Oh, God. We're actually going to make it <laughs> without jackknifing. Now, knowing this game is going to probably want me to, like, put this in a, in a perfect spot. Just how we had to, like, you know, lock into the trailer to begin with. Reverse the truck so that the trailer is properly pos... Oh. God. Reverse the truck, really? Have you seen the size of this thing? Well, this is where Fa Falcon fails the mission miserably now. Now, is there any way I can, like, go inside, turn around, and just drive forward? Because you, that side has to be... Yeah, over there. So I can't just drive right now forward and stop, can I? Is there a way for me to, like, do a... <laughs> do a U-turn? With this giant monster? I don't think so, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, okay, let's... Let's go through here. Oh. Oh, God, we're stuck now. Okay, let's cut an angle through here. Okay, cut. No. Okay, look. Trees, get out of the way, okay? Giant trailer coming through. Okay, let's go. I think we're still moving. We're still moving. Okay. So here's where we got to, like, bust a, a U-turn. I'm still moving, I'm still moving. It's just very slow because, you know, there's not enough room and I'm in the mud. Okay, now we've stopped moving completely, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, the freaking trailer. Let's back it. Where's your emergency beeping, by the way? We're backing it up. That should be, like, uh, rule number one. Okay, so I don't want to alarm anybody, but complications have indeed happened. Uh, I'm, like, knee-deep in mud over here. This guy's over here, like, on top of me jackknifing. I hitched myself to that tree with this trailer, so I'm going to see if I can pull... To some degree, oh god, I thought I had mobility there for a second. You guys don't even understand how long I've been kind of going at this because I'm a dingus. Uh, the thing's just on top of me completely. There's just way too much weight for me to actually make any sort of progress here. I need to, like, get this freaking vehicle. Just get out of the mud. Okay, I, I think I kind of got this. I winched the trailer to this tree over here, which is kind of like giving me that leverage to pull it back. Meanwhile, I get this freaking trailer off of my back wheels over here. And at this point, I don't even care about damage. Just just let me get to that freaking thing right there. So this is as far as we're going, it does seem. Let's um cancel or let's kill the the winch pull through here. And we should be able to probably latch onto that tree over there. So hook the vehicle to that. Pull me forward, baby. Here we go. I think we kind of got something happening here. Oh, good gives God almighty, this this might be just about it. Oh, I think we got it. I still gotta back it up afterwards, but I think we kinda got it. Okay, okay, okay. Kill that. Alrighty. Um, oh boy. Oh, mama. This is taking a while. But, okay. Now, now we just gotta, we just gotta back it up. Do you want proper backing as well, or what? Knowing this game, yeah, you gotta be picture-perfect trailer. Oh, no, no, don't. Don't mess it up. We, we, we basically have it. We basically have it. Don't do this to me right now. Okay, so... Yo, dude. You see that? All you gotta do is just, like, go forward and then just back up very slowly, and we should have this, okay? Okay, there you go. Just back it up. Line it up. Oh. Please accept it. No! Just accept it! Accept my offering! You don't even know how long I've been doing this. Just accept the offering. There it is. There, there we got it. We got it. That's, that's ours. 
<gasps> oh my god. Oh, we got it. Okay. Detach the trailer. Goodness god. Drive away from the trailer to complete the challenge. Good. Yeah, I don't ever want to see this trailer ever again. I gotta pull it from the left, pull it from the right, pull it from the front. Okay, there, there. It's, it's here. Get me out of here. Let me complete this challenge. Oh yeah, I learned a lot here. Like, never turn with the trailer. Uh, use the cockpit camera when driving with trailer. Failed? What, what do you mean? I, I used the cockpit camera. With the trailer, right? Did I have to do the entire way? Like, never get out of the cockpit camera once you are in it? Well, I got the other ones at least. Don't damage your vehicle or the vehicles and don't drive in the opposite lane. I'll accept that at the very least right there. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit of a mission. Oh boy, what are we unlock here for the next one? Challenges? Got two stars out of three. Repair and refuel. Repair and refuel trucks by using other trucks. Deliver logs to lumber mill. This seems a bit more easier than driving out a giant trailer and making U-turns and all this jazz with it. Oh god, that was actually kind of fun though. I'll be really aggravating at points, but we got it done. There you guys have it. This is gonna be Mud Runner or Spin Tires game. If you want to see a bit more, as I mentioned, I do have early access to it until the 31st, so let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up and we can cover more of this down the line. Other than that, all the information will be down below. I will catch you next time.